We had said uh, what the range was and, and the upper reaches of the range that we proposed indeed um, exceeded what has been given, but this is more than fair. Uh, there is no cause for complaint and Mr. Pat is exceedingly happy. Now, do, would you expect an appeal by the government? I, my guess is yes. I don't think, remember that uh, Mr. Mendes, who by the way is, is, is a first class lawyer, there's no question about that. Um, he had said that Pat deserved no more than forty to fifty thousand dollars total. He didn't think his submission was that there ought not to be that second limb for vindication at all. He thought it should be limited to compensation, and he said forty to fifty thousand. Um, well, uh, it is both that we got fifty for just the second limb, and that even with respect to the first limb. The 50 he thought was the upper limit was almost doubled. So I would suspect that this is a great deal of egg on the face of the government, of the authorities. I think people are going to be asking questions about why it is that the whole matter was so terribly botched, uh, was handled in such a serially bad fashion that the taxpayers now end up on the hook for $145,000 plus costs. Mm -hmm. The costs haven't yet been assessed. I would think those wouldn't be less than another thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. So um, uh, I believe that it's very embarrassing for the government. It's, it's, it's worse than embarrassing. Uh, I think blame has to be squarely laid at their door. And I would feel that they would want to try and see how they can mitigate the public opinion chastisement that I think will follow by appealing and hopefully uh, winning an appeal so that the size of the award at least could be reduced. I don't think they would win, but there it is. I describe it as incompetence indeed, but uh, compounded with malice. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. Um, the chairman of the commission is a lawyer an experienced lawyer. There's the Attorney General. There are all these uh, high-paid, hired legal hands that the government has recourse to. I don't understand how, among all of them, uh, there was not the research done. There are countless commission of inquiry cases that you can find in the jurisdiction in the Caribbean and in the larger common law world. And if uh, proper research had been done, if serious research had been done, the terrible errors that attended upon this commission of inquiry exercise uh, could so easily have been avoided. So it is either that they were heedless or that Having thought that perhaps uh, things ought not to go quite the way in which they proceeded, they figured, well, what the hell, um, uh, this is juicy stuff, uh, the, the, the findings, if we proceed in the manner in which we have uh, set out, will embarrass our political opponents, um, we're going to be able to throw serious shade uh, we're going to be able to divert attention from the current ills of the present administration, all that sort of thing. So I have to think that it is a mixture of incompetence and malice.